Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my single back trips out of the Steelers playbook. This is one of my favorite formations from last year. It was in my Ravens uh, formation last year. It's not really, I think it's there under a different name. I think it's called the Trey now, but slightly different, slightly different plays. Um, a lot of these plays, though, are in my Ravens full breakdown and ebook uh, that is already out. All that stuff's in the description. So if you want to see that, uh, hit the, you know, hit the description for that. Uh, all the information's in there. Uh, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and we'll bring you part two of this right now some really good deep passing plays one of the better deep passing formations for my money uh, in this game I also have a really top-notch formation out of the empty bunch so make sure you hit the like button for that because I don't have any more plays out of this but that one right there if you like the pass that is like one of the best formations I've passed in this whole year uh, you can run that all game and just annoy the hell out of people uh, the next play that I want to show is the wide receiver option this one here is a really phenomenal play we'll go ahead and pick that I'll go uh, random nickel here. Now this play right here is really um, unique. I mean, this the the route that I'm really want to highlight here is Brian's route. That route right there, the way that I'm going to set this play up is going to get open like every time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Brian here on a slant, and then we're going to put the square route on a drag. And that concept right there should look familiar. It's kind of like um, I want to call it the uh, Essie clear out play that I had last year. So a really good play. Uh, in this scenario, you can also put McDonald on a slant. Uh, a drag's okay, but the slant's a little bit better. You're going to see how he gets Brian wide open in the middle of the field and then I'm just gonna block the running back if you want to um, you can motion out Bell set him on a streak uh, that's a really good option he's not really doing much anyway though um, if it's a cover three or like this where there's nobody on him at all uh, this is a pretty good look putting him out in something like this so we'll go ahead and we'll run this like I said I'm looking for uh, the deeper option the circle route I had to throw it a little bit quick there he still caught it but I was feeling the pressure so I got rid of it this is really going to be ideal if you can get a little protection, which uh, I'm not sure if this line's going to be able to do. Got a good defense I'm playing against here, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and let's run it a couple times. Like I said, I'm going to be looking Bryant's way the most. You're going to see how uh, that's a man cover. So I just have this advanced McDonald just screaming down the sideline there. So he's definitely going to be your man beater. Um, you can put McDonald. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but you can put McDonald on a drag too. Um, that's not the worst way to go. Um, but since I already have a drag coming underneath, uh, I find it's best to do it like this. So, like I said, it's up to you. Bell also is your option. Uh, I'll probably leave him back to block quite a bit. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and motion him out. So, we're waiting for that circle route to get open here. Uh, up to cover two. It was a cover two man. I'm not really sure what it was, but he stuck with him the whole way. Uh, cover two zone. I mean, that was a man and he beat it. But a cover two zone is going to be like, ugh. He's just going to poop on that. So let's go ahead. We got that cover two look right now. So I'm just waiting for him to cross. And just look how he gets right up there for Ronald calls another touchdown. I'm not sure if he got it or not. Um, but that is the look. It takes a little while. That's why I said you probably want to leave Bell back. Uh, but you see how dirty it is, especially against cover two. We're going to go. We're going to take this check down here. Thought he was a little bit faster than that. Not too bad, though. Ten, yard, or ten yards there. They were definitely sent in that house heat. So... Go ahead, uh, hoping this gets, gets a nice vanilla zone. Uh, this is another man coverage, so all I gotta do is wait for him to cross that, and he's still gonna beat it because he's being covered by a linebacker. Uh, which a lot of these, you know, zone formations, which is what I think that was, uh, even though it looked like a man, a lot of these zone type of formations, you're gonna get a real big mismatch up that center. So here, uh, that's another cover three, might have been a cover four, but you see how he just sits in that. I actually think that was a cover four, but you see how he sits in that zone. He's just that little shake and bake. If you time it right, here we got a man cover. So I'm going to take this guy screaming across the middle here. Probably could have went outside and got a touchdown, but I'm just kind of getting the next play. I'm really trying to highlight. Oh, wow. I totally changed the play. I'm really trying to highlight what uh, Brian's doing. You need to see that, by the way. You see how the, the, the formation changed? Uh, this is one of the plays I showed in the first play. Uh, the space is a little bit different, and it was glitchy. Like, the first play, if you didn't see that, Brian was really glitchy in that play because the spacing is a little bit further apart. Now, if I go back to this one, they're a little bit closer apart, but closer together, so it doesn't have that same effect. So that's actually pretty interesting that I learned that by mistake. So let's go ahead and let's rock this one more time. Um, I'm feeling that uh, triangle route here. He's just screaming across uh, on another man coverage. We get another touchdown. We're just scoring at will right now. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time because I want to show Brian off. It's a little bit of a timing thing as I'm getting another man coverage. 
Uh, we're just going to lob that up, and he's going to catch and run that for... Wow, I was hoping for another touch. I would have ended it right there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, a, lot, a couple of the options are open. I'm just waiting for that big play. If I have pass protection, like there, see how he sits in that zone? Because that, that slanting tight end just opens that up. And if I throw it when he's coming back to the ball, he's just wide open every time. So there's so many different ways that Bryant's route gets open if you perfect it. It's all timing. All my, you know, most of my receiving plays are timing based. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. I got a really explosive play to show you. Another explosive passing play. Another play from last year was one of my favorite plays. Um, I'll probably show like seven or eight plays out of this. Uh, but the next play I want to show is the PX solid corner. This is a really unique route combination that's not in any other formation. Um, it was in the uh, the tray uh, the tray or the single back tray or trio. I'm not really sure, but they changed the name. So this one here, we're gonna go out of the single back trips. The PX solid corner. I'm glad they didn't remove this play, and we'll continue with the uh, nickel. This play right here is a little bit different than I ran it last year. Last year, all I did was put it on a slant. I don't find that works as good this year. It works okay, uh, but I really think you got to put more guys down low. Now I like to put Bell in an out route. He plays off McDonald pretty good, so it's a nice, safe setup there. Um, the, the red route is worthless. Like you don't, <laughs> He's the red. I don't know why he's like the prime route because he sucks. But uh, basically, if it's a man coverage, but this is not, Bryant is an easy lot for a touch. If it's a zone coverage, you're going Brown versus McDonald, and then Bell is your check down. So we'll go ahead and we'll rock this one time. I get that look I want, but that dude is almost... He he almost came under but it's all good it's all good though so this looks like it might be a uh, blitz I'm not really sure might have to take the check down here there's that lob now that's what I'm talking about that's my man you know what I'm saying this is the Steelers offense baby get it done so anytime you see a man that's really the way to go here's another one this looks like it's gonna be the same thing I could actually bullet pass that because he had that type of separation anyway and it was a cover too so I knew there was a guy in the way but uh, that route right there, um, that's just dirty as hell against man. So I want, but I want to hit that triangle route. That's the route um, right there up the cover three seam. That route right there is going to get open in multiple times. But yeah, Bryant, um, he's the man beater. Brown's the cover two beater. Uh, McDonald's obviously a good man beater too. Um, there's just so much going on here. We got another man. We're just going to lob it up here. Man, this is just easy money. This is why you don't run man. I don't know why people run so much man this year. So, yeah, if you get a cover two, uh, Brown is just going to go right up the middle. And that's it. We'll move on. We'll go run one more run play. I showed a run play in the last one, but the power, the halfback power oh, might be even better. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, we'll go random nickel. This one here, you got a pulling lineman. So if you go ahead and you flip that, uh, you basically get what, you know, the last one I showed the stretch play. Uh, but this one here, you're getting a little bit of additional uh, blocking. Um, so this place is even more explosive. Look how wide. Who was there? Like, you could have drove a, 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 whole, <laughs> a whole bunch of trucks through there. That was crazy. There's just nobody there. So we're going to run that again. This receiver here is really your lead blocker. All right, I don't know what the fuck that was. Barry will run this one more time. <laughs> look at that hole. Look at that hole. Oh, look at that hole. Man, there's no defense at all out here right now. That's crazy. This here, like I said, I thought that the, the, the stretch is a really good play, but this is like even more explosive. Look at this. There's nothing there. There's nobody there. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, this is such an explosive series. All right, so yeah, it's 3 through 5 A lot of people are running 3 through 5 too, and you're seeing how this is just working. Oh, we're going to get outside. No, no, no. I wanted that score, man. You just had to get a little better juke there. But for real though, man, Brian in the slot, I don't know if he's a high run blocking guy, but he's just being an MVP right now. So let's go ahead and let's move on. Um, you know, make, make sure your best run blocking receivers where Brian is because it's definitely important. I'm running it again because I'm enjoying myself um, with these wide open lanes. But let's go ahead. Um, that's definitely the best run play in this in this formation. So let's move on. There's some really good plays. I'm not going to go over. The draw is effective. The bubble screen is effective. Uh, the double corner is crap probably. Uh, the halfback zone weak is effective. That one there you take outside a little bit. You run it just like it is shown. Uh, but the last play I'm going to show is the PA boot. So we'll pick that. Not a lot of adjustments here. We'll go nickel. So right here, all you want to do is slant the, the tight end back. I mean, you really could drag him. You really could leave him where he is um, in, in this flat beater. Uh, this is just, you know, this this play action, you're going to work that triangle around wide open. I don't know if that was a cover too, but he's just wide open. Uh, but this whole formation is just fire. This type of play is in a lot of different books. You can run it multiple ways. Um, there, I'm waiting for that triangle route again. Hold on to that ball, Brown. You go, boy. 
Um, so let's go ahead and let's um, just, you know, we'll just rock this a few times. Here we got that man beater again. It's the same one as in the previous play. You just lob it out there. Just float it up, loft it out. It's a touchdown. Easy. Uh, but like I said, this, you know, you can run this so many different ways. Oh, my goodness. I just totally blew that, but it still worked out because the linebacker can't cover underneath like that. So let's go ahead and let's rock this once or twice more. Oh, that triangle route is dirty. And that's a cover three again. Look at the spacing that this creates. These are cover threes, and they look like cover twos. That's how bad this is. Like, here we go. A nice little lob pass for another touchdown. Oh, come on, bruh. I don't know who that was, but he's getting cut. All right, so let's go ahead. This last time I'm going to run this. Um, that's a cover two, which is just going to be disgustingly beat. Um, that would have been gone from anywhere. So that's it. That's the, the full video, whether you're watching this on Patreon or whether you're watching this uh, part two of YouTube. Not all of these are going to be on uh, YouTube, though, because I have enough plays that I'll have some on Patreon and some on YouTube. Uh, but that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shut out.